Hi, Emily Kappel here again with Making Math Make Sense, and we are going to do the intermediate splat session. If you've never done splat before, it is a free resource from a guy named Steve Wyberney. Here's his website, stevewyberney.com. Everything he has on here is for free, which is awesome. So he has a lot of other cool stuff besides just splat, but today we're going to stick with splat. If you've never done splat before, I would highly encourage you to go back to the primary splat video and watch that for a basics on what we're going to do with splat. Essentially, you're subitizing, you're figuring out what the hole is, splat goes on, it covers up part of the hole, so you have two parts, and sometimes you have more than two parts, which we're going to work with today, and then um, you have to use your number sense to figure out what's underneath the splat. Let's get started. So here's his website that you can come and download the splats. You can see um, he has his own about seven minute video that you can watch on how splat works that he talks you through. Splat starts with um, through 10, it goes through 20, multiple splats, which is what we're gonna start with today. And there's five downloads and on each download there's anywhere between eight to 12 uh, slides that you can use for splat. Here's another one with multiple splats where you get to ask what could the total be? So it's getting those kids to think deeper. There's some with two color splats. And like it says here, splats of different colors have different values. So those are super fun. He does not have these on Google Slides though. These are only in PowerPoint. There are two instant ones, so you figure out what the hole is here. Um, different variables, so it shows you what the red is. Underneath the red, so you have to figure out what would the yellow be if the hole is 30. Some of these are really tough thinking. Sometimes the splats, instead of each one being um, worth one, those numbers are worth the value that it has on there. Those are super fun too. So two different values on my holes and two different color splats. Those really get us thinking algebraically. And then there are some fraction ones. So we're gonna hit a few of these right now. Let's go. All right, so this is level three. All right, so my primary kiddos, my kindergarten, first and second grade are going to be doing levels one and two. Third grade, I would definitely start back at one and two to get them used to splat, and then I would come here to level three. So each splat of the same color has the same number. You can see it on that starting slide there. So how this works is it starts with blank, boom, you get some spots. Um, how many spots are there in all? Again, we want kids subitizing, okay? So that means putting them into groups and not counting one by one. So right here, I see a group of five. I see another group of five and then a group of four. So five and five make 10 plus four more. My whole is 14. I definitely pause with kids and have them come up to the board and circle their groups. I always let three, four, five kids go at a time to show me how they came up with the whole. 14, on the first slide of every Google Splat or the PowerPoint Splats, Steve did a really good job of throwing some questions over here on the left where we can read some questions and get the math talk going. Splat, two splats came on. So how many are showing? We have two here, I have two here, three, so that's four and three is seven plus one more is eight. There has to be how many underneath our two splats? Well, what plus eight equals 14? That's right, six. Six plus eight is 14, but I have six between these two splats, and those two splats are the same color, so they have to have the same amount. So six divided into two groups is three. Let's see. Three under that one and three under that one. If I were teaching sixth, seventh, eighth grade, I would definitely come back to my level three splats to start off writing algebraic equations. So an equation for this splat could be eight plus two X, the X being the splats equals 14. So that's a two step equation solving for one variable. Isn't that super fun? Let's go to this one, splat figure out how many there are with grouping. The total is 19. Now there's three splats. So this algebraic equation is going to be four, which is the four blue that we see here, plus three X equals 19. Super awesome stuff that we can be doing, taking it back to what kids do in elementary school, but we can be doing the same thing and stepping it up a level by writing our algebraic equations with this. 
so awesome. My third, fourth, and fifth graders, if they can write the equations, awesome. Let's encourage it. If they can't, let them use their problem solving skills. Let's go to another fun one, fraction. I love this and my kids love splat so much that the day before spring break, they were like, Mrs. Capel, you said we were gonna do fraction splat. So I scratched my plans for the day before spring break and we played fraction splat as a class. They absolutely loved it, especially my ELL students. It was pretty cool. All right, so here's what's gonna come up. We have three holes with the blue. And then each of these circles are one fourth, but I have four groups of one fourth, which is another whole. So my whole is four. I'm gonna splat what's showing. I'm gonna use a number bond. So I'm gonna put four in the whole. One part is two and one fourth. What's the other part going to be? And when we're finding a part, hopefully by third, fourth, fifth grade, our students know when we're looking for a part, we're gonna subtract. So we're gonna do four minus two and one fourth. What do we get? We get one and three fourths. So one and three fourths plus two and one fourth equals four whole. And the whole picture keeps going like this. There are thirds in some of these. There's halves. Here's fourths again, but we have more than just four fourths. This is such an awesome resource. Let's look at fractions with multiple splats. Well, this one isn't fractions with, oh, it is. It is fractions with multiple splats. So what's our whole? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus three thirds is eight whole. Boom, multiple splats on there. So this is gonna be four plus three X equals eight. This time our X is going to be whole number or a whole and a part, what do you think? Hmm, well eight minus the four that we see is four whole. Four whole divided by three is one and a third or four thirds. Awesome, and here we go. We have a visual that goes with our algebraic thinking. If you have any questions about SPLAT, feel free to reach out to me, or you can always reach out to Steve. He is on Twitter, he is in the Facebook groups, um, different math Facebook groups but he's really good about emailing back if you have a question. I would highly su suggest that you subscribe to his email updates because he has a lot of awesome, awesome things on his website. Just to point a few out, his SC series, his estimation series is fabulous. I've te taught for 15 years and I just went through and read through his top 20 teaching tips of 2020 um, this winter and it just reminded me of a lot of different things that sometimes we get away from, sometimes we forget about, but it is a good free download. All right, hope you had fun. Hope you decide to do Splat, whether you're doing it live with your students or you're doing a recording and waiting and pausing and letting them think before you move on. Let us know if you have any questions or comments down in the comment section, and we will continue to bring you great resources in the coming weeks.